What's going on, guys? And welcome back to Energy Apes Clash episode. Today, we are on our main account, and I wanted to spend today's episode just showing you uh, how far along I have come since the most recent update. Am I close to max at Town Hall 16? Uh, where, where do I really stand in my equipment pieces? Well, this episode is for that. So basically, uh, first things first, uh, after the most recent update, I went directly and upgraded those Inferno Towers. We got the scatter shots maxed out. And then prior to the update, of course, we did all of our other core upgrades, uh, mainly those being your ricochet cannons and multi-archer towers and whatnot. Uh, then I slowly started making my way and upgrading all of the air defenses. That's what I have been doing the last couple weeks. And as you can see, this is the final air defense about to go to max level. I have six out of seven builders going right now, or I guess I have all six builders going. I don't have the goblin builder going. I, I personally don't really like uh, using the gems on the goblin builder. I feel like there's better alternatives for gems. Uh, I, I'd be fine with using it on some upgrades, maybe per se one of those new elixir or gold uh, uh, collectors, but I actually think you get better value from the Goblin Builder uh, in the research lab. Uh, but here is what I have left up. I am uh, currently just upgrading all of these uh, elixir and gold mines, just because, hey, that's just passive income that'll make money back in the background. And then the suggested upgrades, uh, a lot of it at the bottom here, as you can see, is just traps, seeking air mines, giant bombs, air bombs, bombs. Not really worried about that at all. All I really have are these mortars, hidden tessels, and wizard towers left to go from the defensive side of things. I think I'm going to, from a priority list, probably go wizard towers, hidden tessels, and then do mortars last. Uh, really, tessels might be better overall, uh, but the wizard towers, I think they just look so sick. I think this is the coolest Town Hall 16 sprite for a defense. Uh, even if the wizard tower, in my opinion, isn't that great of a defense at Town Hall 16, uh, as far as heroes go, I have the Warden maxed out, I have the Queen maxed out, and I am hopefully by the end of this season, maybe even once I grind up a little bit tonight, I could get this Royal Champion to max level at 45. I have some books stored up here from the Roared Pass right here, and I have one stored up. So that's two levels of Book of Heroes and two Dark Runes where I could just go boom, boom, max Royal Champion. So... Hopefully by the next CWL, that is uh, true for me. Uh, and then uh, that'll just leave our king four levels off of max. Over here in the pet house, I, I've done a decent job of upgrading the the pets that I, I utilize. So that being the, the unicorn, diggy, poison lizard, uh, phoenix. And then I'm still working on the spirit fox. That will greatly help uh, me not having to use hero potions or power potions when I'm in CWL. Uh, we are five levels off of that. Uh, we just war absolutely constantly in my main clan. Uh, as we can see, uh, we got an air perfect war. Looks like uh, at worst we are going to tie with this enemy clan. Uh, I uh, three starred their one and two, so I did my part. Uh, but over here, and this is what everyone is mainly talking about these days, it has to be your hero equipment. How am I doing overall? Uh, what have I been upgrading right now? Well, I just max. I know it's taken me a while, but I just actually uh, got around to maxing the Eternal Tome. This last event gave me a lot of glowy ores because I bought the pass. So I was like, hey, I have enough saved in the bank. It's only 0.4 seconds, but who knows? 0.4 seconds might save the day. Uh, so I decided to upgrade the Eternal Tome to max, and that is the first equipment piece that is uh, max level. Uh, the next equipment piece I'm trying to max out, and I really don't know if this was the right decision, I just, I think the Royal Champion with the Haste File is absolutely insane. So right now, I, I'm trying to get enough uh, of these Shiny Ores, and then I'm going to go and upgrade this Haste File up to max level. Uh, and then I think after that, I'm going to pivot to the, the Giant Gauntlet. I do have 250 of these Starry Ores saved up, but those are uh, one of each that I, I feel like are, are not going to go away for a long time, right? Giant Gauntlet's not going anywhere on the King. Uh, Eternal Tome's not going anywhere on the Warden. And the Haste File, uh, I know there is a new Royal Champion Epic equipment coming out next month, but I don't think the Haste File is going anywhere any time soon so I, I might as well max it out these others i have just set at 15 pretty much uh, my other uh, uh pieces you can see are level one fireball i've left at one 
Uh, I do want to get this icy arrow up eventually, um, but that, that it's kind of on the back burner for now. But again, uh, instead of the glowy ores being the bottleneck for me, it's actually the shiny ores. So uh, I, I need to get uh, just uh, attacking, frankly, because, well, the only way you can earn them is through wars and also uh, just getting our Starbucks. The season just ended yesterday, so I, I haven't attacked yet. Uh, but that that is my main village update. We're probably I don't know what do you what do you think like a month two months away from being I'm gonna say two months away from being max again. Uh, this is the laboratory final thing. All my troops that I do utilize with my root rider attack strategy right here is max level, so it's not that important for me to go in here to the laboratory. Uh, but still, at the end of the day, we want all of our troops max level in case we swap up an attack strategy. So this is kind of what it looks like overall. Uh, again, I have one gym donate. We're on level 10 clan. So all these troops I am donating to max level. So that's not really a concern. But I think next I'll probably just go in here and, and upgrade uh, uh, these wall breakers or some of these uh, passive troops like the P.E.K.K.A. So when I do use uh, this uh, siege barracks, uh, we'll have max level P.E.K.K.A.s coming out of the siege barracks. Uh, now, finally, let's go over to, or I guess not finally, right? There, there's three parts of the game. Uh, builder base. Builder base, how, have we, uh, how are we doing over here? Well, if we go over here, suggested upgrades is just walls. Uh, that's pretty awesome. Uh, I, I go over here and do one, two walls uh, a week. Uh, I, I don't attack, frankly, a lot over here, uh, but I am getting better. I, I, I'm practicing. Uh, and the Star Laboratory, I have... We're not max, but I'm maxing out all the, the troops that I, I saw the pro scene pretty much use uh, a lot. So uh, I, I saw the barbarians being used. So let's go get those to max level. And yeah, we're, we're again uh, uh, probably a couple months away from maxing out the laboratory. Uh, walls, walls are going to be a journey, right? But I'm not sure how much I really care about walls for the builder base. Uh, it'll happen eventually, uh, but it's not at the top of my mind. Uh, and finally, uh, in our Jacob's Clash uh, raid weekend, I guess, we have uh, we are in Champions League 1, which is pretty sweet. Uh, next week, we will be in Titans League, uh, which is pretty awesome. Because again, if you go locally, there really isn't that many clans this high up. Um, I say that, and then... Hmm, there's 200, uh, uh, probably probably 300, 400 clans in Legends League. So we're actually, we're pretty high up there just in general. Uh, but we are and have just reached Capitol Hall uh, or Capitol Peak 9 this last week. Uh, so that's nice just because, well, that unlocked the Goblin Mines where we can then uh, start using the Super Miners next week overall. Again, we're probably, I'm going to say, two, three months away from getting to Capitol Hall 10. And starting to max out a lot of these districts overall. Uh, so if you guys are, are, are catching on, we're about two, three months away on all of these facets in the game from being maxed out. Uh, which lines up perfectly for when uh, probably another big update is going to come out overall. The only part where we are not going to finish in two to three months is going to be this hero equipment. Which is obviously the bottleneck in the game. And, and But the one thing I will say, in two to three months we will probably have... Uh, all the abilities that we want or we use every single day to max level, right? The things that won't be max level will be kind of like, uh, well, the, the 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 earthquake boots that we don't use all, all the time, or or the vamp stash, or uh, you you kind of get the gist, right? Um, uh, so it'll happen eventually, but hopefully, again, I that they will probably come out with new uh, ways to uh, gain ores other than just paying, or that's my hope. But overall, guys, this has been my uh, max uh, town hall, or not max town hall, but yeah, my, my main account update there for you. Uh, I hope you guys have enjoyed it. And again, if you have, help me out by uh, subscribing, right? We're trying to get to 5,000 uh, subscribers by my birthday, um, which is coming up here in... A month, a month and a half or so. So uh, that would be sweet. I, uh, I've been Jacob as always. Have a great day. Goodbye.